Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair review. Today I'm taking a look at the Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 Chun-Li. Now she is a part of Wave 1, she was delayed for a little bit, we already got Ryu and Fei Long, but she is finally starting to ship, so let me know in the comments below if you've managed to pick one up, if you're waiting for your pre-order, or if you're still on the fence, and of course stick around to the end of the video so you can see all the photos I took, but that's enough chitter chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. All right, let's get started. So we've got the face here, that great sculpt and some really great paint apps. Her eyes look great. Eyebrows, you've got the bangs coming down. You've got some lines showing where her hair's stretched back because it's pulled into those buns, which you do have the bun covers over. With the tassels hanging off the back. You've even got the yellow trim. You can see it's like layered tassels. They are softer, like rubbery. We've got earrings even. And then you go down to her costume got this great blue like fabric texture look with a bunch of wrinkles in it all those yellow accents to really make it pop got the poofy shoulders the little uh, pieces coming down the sleeves going down her arms you do have the like spiky wrist bracelet which does have some sloppy paint apps where the silver is to the black but it's not i mean i won't say it's not terrible but it's not great it is a separate piece so you can see mine was up a little too high i try to adjust it i might have to Take the hand off, but yeah. So we have the fist here, all the fingers sculpted. Going down her torso, you've got like her undershirt or wrap that has a little bit of sculpt work there in the middle in the white. And then you have her dress, tunic, loincloth thing. It's got that same blue with the texture and the wrinkles and then the yellow trim. It is also a rubbery, like softer plastic. You do have her very thick thighs here in the brown tights. Mine has some schmutz on it. I'm going to have to try to clean that up somehow. All the muscles and everything throughout her thighs and calves. Going down to her boots, she has the cuffs and the laces and some wrinkles going down the sides. Even some stitch work there at the bottom. And the soles all sculpted. Nothing on the bottom of the feet, though, except for the copyrights. You get to the back, and you can see her hair sculpted more. And then you also see more of the layers to her little tassels that come off her bun covers. And that leads down to her costume again with more of those yellow accents on the blue and you get down to well, let's just say they made her very accurate to the game uh, and then continue down you've got the blue with the accents for that you've got more of the back of the legs and you can see the muscles in the back of her calves which are just bulging out of her boots and then the back of the boots with some details there of the wrinkles so i'd say they did a pretty spot on job like they, this is really well done on to some articulation so with the head you do have a ball at the top and a hinge at the bottom of the neck it's very strange but it does kind of work so you get some decent up and down you get some tilt out of it you can kind of shift the neck back and forth and side to side and it turns all the way around obviously as well shoulders go up almost the 90 the sleeves get in the way but it does swivel all the way around you do have the bicep swivel under the sleeves you have double jointed elbows that do have a little bit of hindrance because of those sleeves, but get almost all the way there anyway. You have the wrist peg, which forward, back, and spins all the way around. And abdomen, you do have, looks like a ball at both the top and bottom of the torso. So you can twist it and spin it around and tons of rotation. You get a decent amount back and forward as well, side to side. And then her legs go up past 90 to the side, and they go, they're a little tight, but they do go up pretty high in the front too. It looks like about 90, but I think it can get further. The back though, like even, like you can get pretty far back there, even considering like everything. You got the thigh cut, you've got double joint knees, goes to about there. And then you do have a cut at the boot, which twists all the way around, and the forward-facing pin for forward, back, and the rocker side to side. So, in short, I don't think there's any pose you could possibly want Chun-Li in that you couldn't successfully do. Like, Jada Toys has done a fantastic job with the articulation on this line, and I'm really impressed. Next up, we have some accessories. So first off, we have this alternate head where she's very angry and yelling. You've got the eyebrows scrunched up, the angry eyes, the mouth open with the teeth showing. 
You've got all that same detail in the hair and in the bun covers and everything. Looks good. It's been around back and seats. Same details as we would on the normal head for the most part. On the back. And then we do get a pair of these like flat palm chopping hands. Let's see there, a little bit of detail in the fingers. And then you get her kick effect. And it looks fantastic. It's got this clear, translucent, like really soft rubbery plastic that is blue and goes into like a more light whitish blue and has a really nice gradient to it. Uh, the name is like Hayakure Tsuyaku. I don't even, I can't pronounce it. But yeah, they did a fantastic job. It does have this little peg in the bottom that is different than normal. It has like a little hook on it on the edges so it pops in like holds onto it since it's a softer plastic so that way it doesn't go anywhere and fall off and then her feet just slide right in like so and you can put in any of the three and gives you options all right let's do a quick size comparison so here she is with the, the jada toys ryu he's a little smidgen taller than her and then mafex spidey's a little even taller than that because he's a little taller than both of them pop them out of here We'll bring in the Necker Mirage Donatello and the Valorverse Trigger. Get Donnie's head straight here. So you'll see Donnie's about the same height, maybe a smidgen, like a hair taller. And then Trigger is definitely about almost head over her tall wise. Get them out of here. We'll bring in good old Pimp Day Destro from G.I. Joe Classified and Marvel Legends John Favreau. John Favreau's a little less than a head taller. Destro is definitely head and shoulders taller than her. Get them out of here, and we'll bring in the big beefy boy, the Marvel Legends build a figure armadillo. He is massive, and she is about up to bicep height. So, yeah, I'd say she scales pretty well. And last up is the box art, and you've got this great arcade look with the health bar at the top. You've got the background from the game there. You've got the arcade buttons and sticks. You've got Chun-Li logo, all that stuff there. The sides, you've got that arcade artwork going down on both sides. Looks fantastic. You've got the window on top to bring the light in to kind of show off the figure if you want to keep it in a box. Got barcode and all that fun stuff at the bottom. And then on the back, you've got her with the other two from Wave 1. And then the logo and choose the characters down below. And I have to assume they're going to bring out all these characters, which I'm super excited for. But as always, these boxes are fantastic. Okay, so overall, I am thoroughly impressed. I think they did a fantastic job. There are some paint app issues. I don't know if that's because it was a rush to get it out since it was running late, or if that's just the general like retail figure factory issue kind of thing. Uh, so hopefully they get that sorted out. Uh, I'm not sure if that's across the board or if I just got the unlucky draw on that one. But I I am very excited for the. But I am very excited for this line. It seems like they're going to go super deep. It seems to be doing really well. I really like just the way the figures look. Like, I I did pre-order the reissues of Ryu and Chun-Li for the figure arts figures just because I want to see them in person. But head sculpt-wise, at least likeness, it almost feels like these have a better likeness than those just from pictures. So I can't wait to see them side by side. But in the meantime, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are. If you were on the fence, if this review swayed you one way or the other. And of course, make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see all the photos I took. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Helps us out and gets you a bunch of toy-related -like content in your feed, including the reviews, how to pose videos, the weekly live stream, and the weekly podcasts, and a bunch of other stuff in between. You can check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Modern Toy Fair. And if you're already a fan of the channel, there's a link in the description below for patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair. We have all sorts of tiers of different rewards attached to them. Multiple have free trials so you can kind of see how you like it for a week before you commit. You can get episodes of the podcast early episode input you get to see all the photos i take early you can get physical prints of the photos i take so a bunch of different stuff if you check it out we greatly appreciate it but that's gonna be it for this video hopefully see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel thank you for watching